Hey everyone, my name's Slick. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to cover the Battlefield 2042 menu. We're going to go over the player card selection and how you can customize your character in the collection menu. First off, we'll go over the player card. Clicking the player card button, you can customize any of these elements here and you can put them on your player card. You can choose where you want to put them here. Now these emblems are things that you're going to unlock over time. Then you're going to have your images. These are also unlocks. Uh, you have some default ones, but these are also going to be unlocked uh, as you play the game. Now you'll have your tags. You're given a few of these. If you pre-ordered the game, you're given the old guard tag. That's still going to be that emblem. This is your emblem up here, right in the top left. That's what your tag is going to be. As with other things, you're going to unlock these over time. Now for more customization, uh, you can click on the All Out Warfare, the Battlefield Hazard Zone, or the Battlefield Portal. The All Out Warfare and Hazard Zone are going to take you to your Battlefield 2042 character only. This is going to take you to your specialists. You can click on any specialist and you can customize them based on the set or you can go directly to the uniform and you can take off any headgear. You can also customize the takedowns if you pre-ordered and you got the box cutter. This is a different takedown from the default. Now moving on, you can go to loadouts. What's great about Battlefield 2042 is that you can add new loadouts and each of these can contain any weapon that you've unlocked in the game as well as any gadget and throwable. As you can see, you can right click and you can rename these, hence why the name is just a placeholder. This is just to help you organize if you want to play this way. You can always add even more loadouts. Your weapons menu is where you can customize your guns. If you click on a gun that you've been using, you can see new sites that you've unlocked. You can add more attachments in each menu. I've unlocked the new barrel and now I can put this on my attachment selecting wheel. You can also change this in game when you press escape and you go to your collection. You can also change how the gun appears here. This is the default, this is the pre-order skin. You can also equip charms as well. Moving on to gear, it doesn't really have much use just yet. I don't believe there's any skins in for gear at the moment. Now we're gonna go on to the vehicle section. This is where you can customize your vehicles. There's two sections here, it's gonna be the driver. This is gonna be the ability that you have as the driver. And this is going to be the weapon that your cars will have when you're driving it. You can also change the appearance of your car with any skins that you've earned from leveling up the vehicle, or you can add decals to it as well. Moving forward, we're going to move on to the drones. There's not a menu or anything. You just click the drone and the skins will cycle. Now that's going to cover the warfare and hazard zone menus. Let's go ahead and move on towards the battlefield portal. The battlefield portal collection is going to have the battlefield games that it supports here. You can still customize your Battlefield 2042 as you'd like. You can also customize any other Battlefield game here along with 2042. Now, currently, the options are limited for each of the characters, but I'm sure those are going to be added on later on. Now, each Battlefield does have some weapons that you can change around in each of the classes. Now, I am personally very excited to be messing with Battlefield Portal, seeing all the new updated assets for games that I used to love like Bad Company 2, even the Battlefield 3 assets. It just feels so nostalgic. I hope this video helps you out in any way. I want to thank you very much for your time and support. I post videos every other day. If this is something that interests you, please consider subscribing, dropping a like, and also hit the bell to keep up with notifications. Again, my name's Slick. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.